Uh, we're here at AUSA 2017 and I'm talking with Brian Batrico, project manager, Tardec. We're standing beside GM's Surus platform. Brian, could you talk us through the, the, the Army's interest and this platform from the Army's perspective, please? Yes, Sean. So what we have here is Surus. Is it's a GM vehicle. Um, it's highly leveraging commercial technology that they have on the shelf. Um, put it together in a unique way that offers them a lot of benefits commercially. And then we have strong interest in it from a military perspective as well. Um, the vehicle is obviously a hydrogen-based fuel cell per platform. Um, it builds on what we learned from the ZH2, and GM applied that to kind of a, a new idea platform. So it's two GMC 3500 chassis welded together front to front that gives it four-wheel steering using all production validated components. Um, 7,000 pounds of payload capacity with a 400-mile range. And, and clearly there's no driver facility. Is it fully autonomous? Is, is it tele-operated? Or, or indeed, can it be either or? Or both? It, it's all the above, yeah. You, you hit it exactly. So the vehicle's architecture is, you know, again by GM, they're leveraging their autonomy work. Um, so it's designed to be fully autonomous, tele-op, semi-autonomous for leader-follower type situations. Or GM actually has a cab that they could put on it so you could actually soldier operate or man operate the vehicle as well. And, and I'm assuming it's currently under some form of evaluation? Um, right now, it's still in the prototype and concept form. Um, so GM is looking into options on how they pursue this concept uh, further. And, and Tardec's involvement, um, how deeply are Tardec involved with it? And, and, and you know, can you enlighten us on, on what may be happening, what may be likely to happen with the platform? So right now, we're following it very closely. Um, it obviously has a lot of potential military utility um, in addition to the commercial utility. So we're interested in it from that standpoint. If we can leverage GM's commercial investments and in product development and then repurpose it for military needs, um, it's very appealing to us. So it's a really a terrific partnership. Um, GM is located about a half a mile from us. So we call it a public-private partnership where we can kind of work together, closely collaborate on different systems and you know how can we repurpose their commercial intent vehicles for military needs. Excellent, thank you very much.